Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Another quick video to show off some more of my Iron Man um, Kids Logic series. A number of collectors asked me about what other figures or products that I have from Kids Logic after they saw the magnetic floating Mark II. So instead of answering all of those sort of messages or uh, Facebook PMs, I thought I'd just do a quick video just to show off the Pluggy series that I have. I've got pretty much all of the Iron Man Pluggy series and I've got another set on the way that I've actually pre-ordered. So just to give you a quick background on this, these are three inch non-movable. They don't pose, they don't really turn much apart from the heads can turn a little bit. Uh, I would say little toys or displays. They're th only three inches high. Their proportions are a bit different to what you guys may be used to. The Hall of Armour that they're standing in is actually one that I made myself. Kids Logic um, sell a Hall of Armour that lights up as well. It's actually much nicer. I made this about a year ago. Kids Logic have announced that they have released their version a last month. So if you can get hold of that, it's a nice little product. It's not too expensive. So yeah, that's pretty funky. So they have a large number of these from the Mark 42 Battle Damage all the way to a holographic Mark 6. I actually have these two Mark 42s, gold plated, hopefully this will show up a little bit, gold plated and silver plated. Um, I think there's only about 600 of these gold plated ones made and the gold ones are about a thousand of these made. So these are purely for display, they don't pose, they don't they, well, they don't really move at all. They, they are in their own display case. And this display setup I built myself. So they have quite a few series of these from the War Machines, Iron Patriot, all the way to the uh, original 1 to 7 and the new figures as well. The new armors that came from Iron Man 3. So they're going to have the Silver Centurion, Blue Centurion, uh, Python, etc. Now, just to quickly show you guys, I actually have this on a remote control, the lighting. So I can switch it off like that. So it has limited lighting. Or back on like that. So just a quick video, guys. I hope you liked it and hope that actually answers your questions as well. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.